Can you ever fathom it that a local white-controlled municipality built a township on top of a sewerage dump just because the people are of mixed race? Well, this is racist South Africa. I'm Fuad Rahman. I'm a journalist and author from Cape Town, South Africa. Welcome to my Paranormal Life channel. Please click like, share and subscribe. I'd be very interested in your comments. I took a drive to a little, remote town known as Victoria West to talk with the unfortunate residents. And photograph the inhumane housing that was in the process of being erected near Cape Town in the Western Cape Province which are under white political party control. When I arrived I was met with a foul sewerage stench that emitted from the area where on the people are told to move in and live. It was extremely disturbing to say the least to witness how the racists whites treated rural people of color worse than they treated their animals. I just don't care what these racists whites might do or say about my posting. They are guilty as hell. While I spoke with the people, I noticed two dwellings which collapsed because the white racists just threw a lot of dirty sand over the swearge dump. A few people were seriously injured and were hospital at least. A resident told me they are forced to go live on top of the sewerage, because otherwise they have to continue living in makeshift dwellings. Another resident says the white people put them on top of the stinking sewerage dump and in between a cemetery just because they do not want us to live near them. Most whites in South Africa control and enjoy 80% of the wealth of the land which their grandpas and grandmas forcibly stole from the local indigenous folk at gunpoint and through violence. 1994 saw the end of political party apartheid, but whites continue to live on the fat of the land. This was as a result of the so-called negotiated settlement.